この番組はご覧のスポンサーの提供でお送りしますこんにちは、everyone! It's Dan from Jidan.co.uk and today I'm talking about World Cup! Cheers for finding my video, everyone! I appreciate that! Today is Friday! Means only one thing on this channel, my friend. Five Minute Friday. For those of you who don't know, you should. But Five Minute Friday, I take five minutes on a Friday to talk about a random topic or question given to me by somebody out there. So if you've got a question or a topic in mind, do me a favor, comment section below, let a bro know. Anyway, today I'm going to be talking about World Cup. Eh, homo? Ima? World Cup? Yeah, man, like. It's been happening for two weeks. Where you been? What do you even do all day? <sighs> oh, yeah. Don't ask questions. You don't want to know answer to, I suppose. Anyway, World Cup's a thing. It's happening these days. And it's from Russia with love. And Japan were there. And things happened. And basically, that's what I'm talking about today. So, a good friend from back in England, Mike,、um, on YouTube, he's better known as m u i j i Channel, says, Haha, time to catch up on all the Jap Daniel. How are you finding the World Cup, man? How do the Japanese feel about their cup run and being knocked out? The fans have been getting a lot of praise for cleaning the stadium before they leave after the games, and the team cleaned the locker room after every game, too. Good question, Mike. Cheers for that. And I'll do my best to talk about it for five minutes. So, as always, five minutes on the clock. Let's fucking rock! So, World Cup fever.、Uh, I don't know if that's a thing here, but it kind of reminds me of England in some ways. Like, suddenly, everyone's a footy fan. Like, oh, soccer fan, as they call it here. Like, little old Obachans that probably never seen a game of football suddenly are mad for watching Japan. And I mean, Japan's kind of split into two groups here. You've got the hardcore fans that, like, They watch footy and they love it, kind of like in England, you've got that. And then you've got fair weather fans that only when it's a big tournament or something, they kind of like to watch Japan. And there's definitely that here too. And I was kind of surprised it's like all ages and groups that kind of join in this. Like in England, some people don't care no matter what, but it seems here a lot of people care when it's World Cup. I find not everyone supports Japan though, which I found a bit weird. A lot of like, people just pick their favourite team because they're like, oh, Japan aren't going to do that anyway, so we'll just pick Brazil. Alright, cool.、Um, but yeah, overall, it's been a pretty good experience. It's been hard work watching games from here because of time difference. Like, games are at midnight and 3 a.m. So, in England, I've played on 3 a.m. slot pretty much every time. So, it's been hard work staying up to watch England, you know what I'm saying? Not just because watching England, I mean, because it was late and that. So,、um, But there's been a lot of coverage, a lot of highlights, and they've got one show where like four pundits react to highlights. And like the pundits are in the corner of the screen and the highlights, and they're just mad over reactions and stuff. It's pretty cool. So I've watched a bit of that too.、Um, loads of merchandise and stuff. Coca Cola are mad for a bit of merchandising around this time. And there's a lot of samurai blue propaganda, which is what Japan's national team is called.、You、see a lot of posters in convenience stores and stuff. In terms of like the actual feeling here,、um, when Japan won their first game, people were like baffled. They didn't expect to win. You know, perennial underdogs like they beat Colombia first game. Like, people were like, yo, what is going on here? People were jumping off at Dotonbury Bridge in Osaka. Like, we've won a game. And people were mad for it. And, like, then against Senegal in the second game, like, 2 2 draw. People were like, we're going to do this. Hang on. Third game against Poland were a bit of a farce. And people were a bit upset with what happened. Because even though Japan are not a strong team, like, in the grand scheme of the world, Japan have got a lot of pride in how they present that to the rest of the world. And in the Poland game, they felt that Japan didn't sort of show their samurai spirit, if you like. So people were a bit frustrated with that game. But they, they, you know, they did what they needed to do and they qualified. And I think people kind of forgave them. But they were worried that they were getting a bad rep in the rest of the world. And then rolls round to against Belgium. And there were a scary minute when I thought England might end up playing Japan in round the 16. And I was like, I kind of don't want that to happen because I'll have to answer a lot of questions either way. So, yeah, Belgium versus Japan come round, and everyone were like, we've got no chance. I was speaking to students and stuff about it, and they were like, no,、nah, we're not going to do it, but we're happy to get this far. Next minute, 
Japan had 2 0 up, and I'm watching it like, hang on, what is going on here? They might actually do it, good goal and all. <laughs> and you start to believe, don't you? Like, false sense of security. And when they conceded in, like, stoppage time, I was just like, oh man, come on. That, that's brutal. And I think a lot of Japanese people, uh, Japanese people even felt the same. So that were a bit tough. Uh, but overall, I think people were proud of what Japan did. Like, they showed people that they're not just some mugs and they were a decent team and they can put up a game. So, like, overall, I was explaining to some of my students the words underdog because they don't know that word. And how English people love an underdog. And in the Belgian game, from what I could see on social media and my friends back home, it seemed a lot of people in England were rooting for Japan. And when I told Japanese students this, they were all like, oh, thank you. I'm so moved. Arigato. Like, that's kind of weird. But it was kind of cool too. So, yeah. Um, I think everyone thinks they did pretty well. They're not that disappointed. Um, especially, I think they beat expectations. So that's kind of cool. Um, the rep that I see online is like the Japanese fans cleaning the stadium. As Mike said. And I saw that they cleaned their dressing room after they lost against Belgium. They were immaculate. And that's kind of just the Japanese way, like, great or good, clean up after yourself and all that stuff. So I'm not surprised, but it's kind of cool that they're showing that to the rest of the world. So, yeah, overall, pretty good. England is still in, so I've still got some vested interest. But by the time this video goes out, it's probably over and done with, so what can you do? Anyway, Mike, thanks for that. And, yeah, cheers for watching, as always. So, that's 5 Minute Friday to, for today. Well, I can't talk today. Today's question is, what do you reckon at World Cup? Good? Bad? Shocking? Comment section below. Let a bro know. Don't forget, patreon.com slash Jadan Dan Dan to join the hashtag Jadan fam on Patreon. But that's it. So, as always, until next time. <coughs>